this lesson, we'll discuss several smart new tools designed to streamline your workflow in Vray Next for SketchUp. The new auto exposure and auto white balance settings will get you faster previews of your scene with less hassle. To get started, let's take a look at our scene here and see how we can use the new auto exposure parameter to improve our renders. Now, let's switch to the render camera and do a render of our scene here. The first thing you'll likely notice is that the render looks underexposed, and it also has a strong bluish tint, especially near the windows. This is because we haven't set any camera parameters yet. In past versions of V-Ray, a common solution here would be to tweak the camera parameters manually using the advanced camera settings. However, this can be a very time-consuming process, so let's see how we can use V-Ray Next to achieve a desirable result more easily. In the camera settings dropdown, you'll see across from the exposure value parameter that there is a new auto button toggle. Enabling this will turn on the automatic exposure setting, which will let V-Ray calculate the correct exposure for you with just the click of a button and no need for manual tweaking. Now let's render the scene again. Note that in order to use the auto exposure and white balance features, you'll need to render in production mode for now. As you can see, the image looks a lot better now in terms of lighting and contrast. It has proper exposure and all the interior details are clearly visible. Also, we have the ability to additionally compensate and adjust the auto exposure value results using the new compensation slider. To demonstrate what this can do, I'll set the compensation value to 1 and then let's draw a render region on the left and start another render. As you can see, a value of 1 makes the result twice as bright. Naturally, when the compensation value is set to negative 1, it makes the exposure twice as dark, which I'll demonstrate using another render region here on the right. The compensation parameter is only enabled when the exposure mode is set to automatic, allowing you to still maintain some control over the results without needing to tweak each camera setting manually. Okay, let's return the compensation slider to zero and remove the render region. Now that you've seen how we can quickly get the correct exposure, let's explore how we can get rid of the bluish tint in the image. Across from the white balance, we just need to toggle on the new auto button as well, and let's render the scene again to see how that affects our result. Keep in mind that in order to benefit from the auto exposure and auto white balance features, the production rendering mode and the light cache secondary GI solution have to be selected, as they are calculated during the light cache phase. All right, now everything looks as expected. The walls appear a neutral gray color, and the sun hotspots on the right represent the proper color of sunlight. With just a few clicks using the new auto exposure and auto white balance features, we now have much better lighting and contrast in our scene in a fraction of the time it would take to set it up manually.